amino acids are compounds containing carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen they are the building blocks of proteins and are composed of an amino group a carboxyl group a hydrogen atom and a side chain all bonded to a carbon atom known as alpha carbon the general structure of an amino acid can be seen in the figure this structure is common to all the amino acids except one that is proline in the protein molecule each amino acid residue is joined to its neighbor by a specific type of covalent bond known as peptide bond amino acids differ from each other in their side chains or r groups which vary in structure size and electric charge and influence the solubility of the amino acids in water in the simplest case r group is a hydrogen atom and the amino acid is glycine Twenty different amino acids are commonly found in proteins. The first to be discovered was asparagine in the year eighteen hundred and six, and the last of the twenty amino acids to be found was threonine, and that was in the year nineteen hundred and thirty-eight. All the amino acids have common names, and some are named on the sources from which they were isolated. Example. Asparagine was first found in asparagus glutamate in wheat gluten tyrosine amino acid was first isolated from cheese and in greek the term tyros means cheese glycine was so named because of its sweet taste and in greek the term glycos means sweet in all the amino acids except glycine the alpha carbon is bonded to four different groups therefore alpha carbon atom in amino acids is a chiral center and we know that molecules with a chiral center are optically active that is they can rotate plane polar polarized light therefore each amino acid has two stereo isomers d and l amino acid also designated as plus and minus respectively d amino acids are dextro rotatory that is they can rotate the plane polarized light clockwise and l amino acid are levo rotatory that is they can rotate the plane polarized light counter clockwise amino acids can be grouped into five main classes based on the properties of their r groups which are amino acids having non polar aliphatic r groups aromatic r groups polar uncharged r groups positively charged that is basic r groups and negatively charged that is acidic r groups first the non polar aliphatic r groups R groups in this class of amino acids are non-polar and hydrophobic and so they tend to cluster together within the proteins stabilizing the protein structure by means of hydrophobic interactions This group includes glycine alanine proline 
वैलिन ल्यूसिन आइसोल्यूसिन एंड मिथाइनिन Methionine, which is one of the two sulfur-containing amino acids, has a non-polar thioester group in its side chain. Proline amino acid also has a, has an aliphatic side chain, but it has a distinctive cyclic structure. Next is the aromatic R groups. such amino acids have aromatic side chains they are also nonpolar and can participate in hydrophobic interactions these includes three amino acids tryptophan tyrosine and phenylalanine and phenylalanine tryptophan and tyrosine and to some extent phenylalanine can absorb ultraviolet light this property of these amino acids is therefore used by researchers in characterization of proteins the next group is polar uncharged r groups the r groups of these amino acids are polar and so they are soluble in water therefore hydrophilic in nature these amino acids contain functional groups that form hydrogen bonds with water this group includes serine threonine cysteine asparagine and glutamine polarity of serine threonine is contributed by their hydroxyl groups that of cysteine by its sulfhydryl group and that of asparagine and glutamine by their amide groups Sulfhydryl groups of sulfur containing amino acids that is cysteine and methionine form disulfide bonds. Disulfide bonds play important roles in the structure of many proteins by forming covalent links between parts of the protein molecule or, or between two different polypeptide chains. Next group of amino acids are positively and negatively charged r groups most hydrophilic r groups are those that are either positively charged or negatively charged amino acids which are charged at ph 7 are lysine arginine and histidine lysine has an has a second amino group arginine has a positively charged guanidine group and histidine has an imidazole group amino acids having negatively charged that is acidic r groups have a neg- net negative charge at ph 7 these include two amino acids aspartate and glutamate each of which has a second carboxyl group now the essential and non essential amino acids living organisms differ in their ability in synthesizing the amino acids required for protein synthesis while plants and many microorganisms can produce all the 20 standard amino acids other organisms must obtain some of these amino acids from their diet mammals and other animals for example can only synthesize a group of these standard amino acids and these are known as non essential amino acids the remaining amino acids have to be obtained from the diet and therefore are known as essential amino acids <laughs>